hello everyone and welcome back so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to calculate free cash flow to the firm using two methods so our case study in this tutorial is reliance retail limited one of um, the retail giants in india with a focus in uh, groceries apparel electronics etc so without wasting time let's dive right into it so here we are going to utilize the income statement and the cash flow statement to calculate the free cash flow to the firm and the free cash flow to the firm these are cash flows that are available to both equity holders and providers of capital in other words, the free cash flow to the firm is a pre-debt cash flow. We haven't um, made any debt payments yet. And obviously, we use the free cash flow to the firm to find the entire value of the company. So let me quickly show you how to compute the historical free cash flow to the firm. So here we are going to start by linking the EBIT from the income statement. So here we link that to and we act like we are paying taxes and then here we so the corporate tax um, is I found it in the annual report for Reliance Limited uh, from 2020 to 2024 student 25.17% um, and then I multiply that I go back to free cash flow to the firm I multiply by the EBIT right and I link through depreciation from the cash flow statement so depreciation from the cash flow statement and changes um, in working capital items from the cash flow statement as well in capital expenditure from the cash flow statement under investing activities and we have got here and then we copy that right through now that we are done copying everything here uh, linking through everything here we just do we just sum up everything so here we copy that right through so uh, this is these are the figures for the free cash flow from 2020 to 2024 right and um, here we are now going to um, actually use a go with the flow of the formulas as we know them right so first of all we need to hard decode so we need to hard decode these figures here so I'm going to hard decode that change these figures into values and um, uh, here I'm just going to flip uh, the uh, the signs here, right? So I'm gonna flip that, and here I'm just gonna uh, copy depreciation as is. I'm just gonna hard code that, right? And I'm also going to flip the uh, signs here on uh, changes in working capital right perfect and i'm also going to flip uh the signs here on capex right and then i copy that right through now that I'm, i've done linking that so the formula goes like this we say EBIT minus taxes plus depreciation and other non-cash items minus changes in working capital minus capital expenditure so we're just gonna go with that flow so here minus um, income tax right and plus depreciation minus changes in working capital minus capital expenditure and then we copy that right through so as you can see uh, the free cash flow that we got uh, using uh, the flow of the financial statements is the same um, that we got when we use the flow of the actual formula right so uh, this is it guys this is how you 
can compute free cash flow to the firm. So if you have loved this tutorial, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.